Okay, I am ready for the next step on this cup. I am going to do a peekaboo on it and hopefully an outlined peekaboo. You may have seen those with a lot of fall cups. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply my decals. And I didn't cut a ton for this because um, I don't really want to have to be removing a ton. So, and I didn't actually like plot out how I'm going to put them in my head. But I know I'm going to put the name down this side. So I'm going to do that first. And this one just says Mama. So that's going on first. And it is just starting to snow here. So I'm going to be running out in the snow to spray paint. And I'm going to do a flower down here. These are just sunflowers. Unfortunately, these are a lot of pieces for all of the uh, removal part. I'm going to have to do in a few little bit here for the next step. Well, not the next step. Two steps from now. Three steps from now. But that's part of why I kept it somewhat simple. And I just ripped that. So I'm going to line it back up as best I can. And I'm going to put this one here. I thought I had these all, like, well stuck to my transfer tape, but apparently I don't. So, I'm going to give it another wipe. I should have peeled them all before I started recording, but... So I'm actually going to look at that again. I'm going to start at the bottom and kind of wrap the three that way. I want them on there, but I don't want them like overly burnished and I did just lose another little piece so I will go back in it's kind of chilly in here um, so um, decaling onto a warmer surface is easier I'm going to look at the other one to make sure I apply that back in the right spot It wouldn't really matter except that doing the outline it's not going to quite line back up properly on these spots where I'm removing. Parts. So that'll be my only little bit of an issue. If these were my final decals, I would be taking my time a little bit better. Um, but these are, like I said, coming right back off. So. Oh, and because these are coming right back off, um, 
they are cut on 631 removable vinyl, not on 651 permanent vinyl. Because I do need them to come off. I'm going to see if I can't get this leaf wrapped up at the handle a little bit. And that is going to overlap a little bit, but it'll be fine. And I did it again. Okay. So I'm going to run out and spray paint this white real quick. And then I will be back for the next step. Okay, I am ready for the next step, which is going to be to wood grain this. So I'm going to use a chip brush. This is just a one inch cheap chippy brush. And I'm going to use ginger and butterscotch on this one. I don't want it to get too, too dark. This brush I have used several times before, so it does have some dark on it, and it is going to pull some of that back in. It's fine. I'm not worried about that. So, I'm going to start with the butterscotch. And I'm just going to open them both up. I'm going to get the cradle out of the way for now. I don't want that covered in ink. So... I am just going to pick a spot to start, run a line, and brush back and forth. And I'm not going to worry if I have some white spots for now, because I will be going back over it with the second color. So. Just gonna keep going till I'm around. Keep going over the same spot until it is pretty well set. Once it's not moving anymore is when you want to move on to the next spot. If you just kind of brush over it once, you're not gonna get the um, lines in it that make that wood grain look. So, do keep going back and forth. And you can let a little bit of it set over top of the spot before it. That'll give it a little darker character. to go over the handle so I will show you that the handles are a little more difficult but it's basically the same principle Getting under the handle can be a little bit more of a challenge. So I'm going to flip it upside down and earn some under the handle. This is an awkward angle to show. And again, I am going to come in with the other color, so some of this can stay white. It's not going to hurt anything. It may roll around the handle, so you're going to want to come back onto the other side and touch it up. But I'm going to need drippy spots on the next round as well. And don't forget the top of the handle. And 
and you can see as I come around where um, this picked up more of the darker tone off of my brush. You can see my brush lightening up as I go. That's perfectly fine. That's why I use the same brush over and over because it does transfer color and character. So I think that's good enough coverage. Don't forget your bottom. I didn't put any kind of decal on the bottom of this one. I may just open up like a geode type spot on the bottom. I haven't decided yet. When you go to do your bases, make sure you look around the edge after because it will roll a little bit and open up spots. Ink reactivates ink, so you do have to be aware of that so you don't leave a yucky looking drip. So I'm going to move on to the next color, which is my ginger, and I'm going to start going over it again, making sure I get all of the white spots this time. And the ginger's just slightly darker. stuck on here or something. I want to see if I can get maybe it's just the line from the ink. It's not actually raised so I think it's just a mark from the ink. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. And you'll see me on this coat do some full length passes and some I will cut short and just do like a half to kind of like feather that in. It's the way I prefer to do my wood grains. It's just personal preference. I mean, you can keep going over one of these as long as you want with as many colors as you want. Your wood grains don't have to be browns. You can do purple or aqua. Just trying to keep this one fairly light because it is for a woman and it does have glitter underneath. I typically don't do many single color wood grains. I like to use two colors at least. Often I'll use three. Again, all personal preference. Build and develop the color you want. I'm gonna get tucked down in there in that vinyl. And back to the handle part. The quicker you can get the ink moving after you sit it on the cup, the better off you are. The longer it sits without you touching it, it will um, work on developing and spreading that bottom layer. So 
So back inside the handle. Back on top of the handle. And you do have to be pretty quick, especially around the handles, because it can dry fast and pool in those areas, especially. really do look and make sure you don't have any of that white. I think this whole side of the handle is still white. So get back in there and get all of that. Check your outside once in a while to make sure you don't have huge drips taking all of your color back off or anything. So, I think that that's good on the inside. I'm going to get the bottom here. And this handle is still a little rough from the glitter layers. Um, but I will get another layer of epoxy on this and then sand that edge if I need to. Okay, so I think that is all of the handle. I'm going to go back to the bottom of the cup itself. see a little spot I missed on the side here so I'll come back in and get that as well you definitely want to make sure you don't have any white spots before going on to the next step here because it'll be really difficult to fix it at this point so look it over, see if you're happy with what you've got. Decide if you want to go in with any darker color or take more lighter. Like this got a little pooled, so I'm going to go back over that particular spot. But that's it for that. So I'm going to set that down and cap my inks. Um, do work on a protected surface when you're doing this. Um, you probably can't see it, but I have, you can see little dots, not the red, but I have ink splatter headed that way across my entire table. So you do want to be careful of that. So I'm going to come back in with my cradle. I'm not going to worry about drying on timer on this or anything. And I'm not going to show this entire process because it's going to be long. But you need to come in with a weeding tool. And this is where you need to be careful because I'm going to end up scratching my cup here. But you're going to come in and you're going to remove all of that vinyl. Again, I am not going to do all of this part on camera. It would just take far too long. But you can see it's got a nice crisp edge. That's that removable vinyl. So you would work your way all the way around the cup. And these are going to be tedious just because there's so many little pieces to each of these flowers. 
but make sure you get every bit. It's super easy to see the vinyl on a wood grain peekaboo, so you don't really have to worry about not being able to find it. Um, someday I might get around to doing a glitter on glitter peekaboo, and I'll show you a couple of hacks or a hack for finding your glitter then. Or your vinyl under the glitter, I mean. But, again, this is going to be a tedious process, so I'm going to cut out, but you can see how that looks at the moment. And I will come back in a little bit when I am ready for the next step. Okay, so at this point you can go one of two ways. One way is safer, one way is riskier, but going to be quicker and going to eliminate a layer of resin. You could go ahead and put another coat of epoxy over this now, or you can carefully go ahead and add your next layer of vinyl. I'm going to add the next layer of vinyl and hopefully not wreck the cup because I don't want to add too many more layers of resin to this. I don't want it to get too thick and too heavy. So you want to use, um, these images were all double layers to begin with. So I kept the outline in vinyl and I used the inside as the mask. Um, but you want to use an older piece of transfer tape. Don't take a brand new um, strong grip piece of transfer tape or you will end up lifting this layer of the cup. If you do another layer of resin, you don't have to worry about it lifting. But again, I don't want to do that other step. So you're going to use your older transfer tape and trim it pretty close to your vinyl because you don't want a lot of excess to stick anywhere on the cup. So trim it down tight and then peel it and go ahead and carefully line it up. This is difficult, and hopefully these will line up. And I don't know why it's not. I thought I did them exactly the same, but... And if for some reason this won't line up, I may have to recut it. awkward because of the handle. Um, this is probably the most stressful part of this entire cup. Okay. And then rub it down. Not too hard yet. Um, you want to be able to get the tape back off. There. So that's one. And I do have the others ready to go. I just didn't peel them all yet. And I will show you um, if you scratched your 
cup at all because these do scratch fairly easily. Um, I did scratch it a little bit here and there with my nail like that. I will show you how to fix some little scratches in a minute. Now hopefully this piece will fit on this one. And this piece of tape was a little bit stronger, so hopefully I don't have a problem with it coming back off. Any kind of image that you have in a double layer will work for this type of layered peekaboo. So I'm going to come back around to this one again. Now, I did mess up a little bit here. I didn't even notice that I'd lost two pieces of the vinyl down in this leaf. So I'm going to have two little spots where the wood grain shows. You could go in and try and clean up a little bit of that with acetone, but I actually think that I'm not going to worry about it. I don't think it's going to stand out that much. So, but just a boo boo that I didn't notice until I was pulling it all back off. I'm just trying to shift it and get it as close as possible to the proper spots. Um, I'm just not going to worry about that little, two little tiny pieces of that in the long run. It's not really going to be that big of a deal. So, I didn't peel any of my alcohol ink or paint applying those that way. That worked just fine. Um... Again, I'm not going to worry about that. I don't think it's worth going in and potentially messing up the entire cup to fix that. Now, you don't want to scratch your inks, right? So don't go in with a scraper to set your vinyl. Use a burnishing tool to just rub over it. Because adhesive vinyl is pressure sensitive, you do need to put some amount of pressure on it to activate that adhesive properly. And again, you don't really want to scratch the heck out of your cup. So get all around it and make sure it's all down. But I do have a little bit of a scratch there and that one that I did there. So. What I'm going to do is take a small paintbrush and one of my ink colors. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm just going to use one of those little pieces of transfer tape or backing paper. I'm going to put a little drop of ink on it. And I'm going to dip in my brush. I don't want a ton. I just want to be able to go in and fill it. And it is going to activate 
This brush already had ink on it, so it was a little bit wet to start with. But and you can go back over it with your other brush a little bit if you'd like. And you can go back in again. If you kind of do a circle motion, you end up with a bit of a knot layered in there. But changing the overall character is better than, um, and this is where I scratched that earlier. So I'm just going to stroke over that with the brush. And I've got a little tiny bit of white showing right here. So I'm going to just brush in there. But just a tiny brush. I mean, it can be even smaller than this would be good. And... I'm going to double check around and make sure I don't have any other um, scratches or anything. So that's it. That's touched up. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, again, I don't really want to go in with acetone and fix this. But if I'd wanted to, I could have gone in with acetone on a Q-tip before I applied this decal and just cleaned up that area. But I had thought about doing a couple little geode swipes in here, but I kind of like it the way it is, so I'm just going to leave it alone. So at this point, I'm just going to bring it over to the turner and give it a coat and I'll see how the decals feel. I'll see how the edges of the handle feel after that coat. If it's smoothed out, that'll be done. If the handles are still a little bit rough, the handle edges, I will sand it a little bit and then put one more coat over that. But this is it. Wood grain glitter peekaboo complete. Thanks for watching. If you would please do me a favor and hit that like button and that subscribe bell. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you.